We're developing this morning an intense search underway for the suspect accused of the murder of an Upper East Side deli worker before he strikes again. The police now believe the man is behind a crime spree. They're urging New Yorkers to remove their face coverings while inside stores as they work to track down the mass suspect. CBS News' Hannah Klieger joins us live from the Upper East Side with the very latest on this case. Hannah? And Mary, police say the suspect is difficult to identify because, as you said, he was wearing a face mask and a hazmat suit when he walked into the store. The brazen string of attacks across three boroughs has officials asking store employees to tell customers to pull down their mask and show their face when they walk in to buy something. It's become an ongoing conversation about public safety. Yesterday, Mayor Eric Adams joined the calls of police leaders and bodega workers, asking customers to pull down their masks so store clerks can see who walks into their deli. When you see these mask wearing people, oftentimes it's not about being fearful of the pandemic is fearful of the police catching them for their deeds, and we're really putting the call out. Flowers and signs of support decorate the outside of Diona Deli on 3rd Avenue by 81st Street. Police say this man came in just before midnight on Friday in a white hazmat suit and dark mask, pistol whipped the 67 year old store clerk, and then shot him in the head. Each of us here grew up in this city. We know what the neighborhood bodega means for some of us. It was like an extension of our living rooms. Police believe this man is linked to at least three other robberies at delis in other boroughs, including one in Greenpoint, Brooklyn, wearing the same suit and mask. The clerk there says he was behind the counter when the man pulled out a gun. I was just hoping that I don't get shot afterwards. And now looking back and uh, seeing what happened to the old man, I feel sorry for him and his family. It's just that uh, it could have been me. This is what we're talking about. This is what we don't want. On Monday, United Bodega Workers of America distributed signs for store windows, calling on customers to take measures to ensure store employees feel safe. A message echoed by the NYPD. And I'll put it to all New Yorkers. We have an obligation to make sure that these store owners feel safe as well. So a sign, as, as a sign of a peace offering, a sign uh, of safety to those store workers, when we walk in, we should take down our mask. We should let them know that they're not in any, any danger, any harm. Some feel it's a reasonable ask. The masks are becoming a hindrance, and they are allowing people to get away with not just murder, but also shoplifting. Not everyone is on board with this, however. Many believe the responsibility should not be on the store workers, and some employees believe this could even lead to more violent confrontations. Meanwhile, the NYPD is offering a reward of up to $10,000 for information leading to an arrest. We're live on the Upper East Side. Hannah Klieger, CBS 2 News. Hannah, thank you.